Cartilla has been part of so many Tasmanians' lives. When you step on board, you're stepping back in time, back in history, back to that era. Well, it's part of our history and our heritage, especially our seafaring heritage. Maybe we do owe the car dealer something. We all owe the car dealer something. Built in 1912, the same year as the Titanic, the Cartilla has supported Tasmanians for over a century. It served in the Royal Australian Navy during World War I and played an important role in the aftermath of the 1975 Tasman Bridge collapse. Hobart's Tasman Bridge as it looked less than an hour ago. So it's all, that's still a, it's a wooden roof there, so the top deck must have been flooring as well. Clifton Beach grandmother Lynn Lucas has a unique story. She got married on board the ferry in 1984 and had some uninvited guests. German stowaways mistook her wedding for a cruise. We spoke to them afterwards and uh, they, yes, they were tourists and they'd got on the wrong boat. So we just took them with us and we all partied on and had a fun time. Lynn and her husband recently visited the Cartilla on the Huon River at Franklin and were shocked by what they saw. It was just really sad to see her in the condition she was in. She just looked so neglected. The historic vessel is in a state of decay and the steamship Cartilla Trust says it doesn't have enough money to save it. 12 months would be too long. I think by that stage we, we really would be finding that we were losing that window of opportunity. $50,000 will cover emergency repairs to the hull, but millions more is needed to completely restore it. When the Cartilla first came to Franklin in 2014, there were high hopes to resurrect it within four years. The only problem is the cost. It's a $5 million project. The state government's previously committed $500,000, but won't say whether there's any more financial support. In a statement, Independent Clark MP Andrew Wilkie said regrettably neither level of government has been able to grasp the heritage value of the vessel and offer funding. With different options now being considered, one thing many Tasmanians can agree on is the Cartilla needs saving so it can continue telling stories for another generation. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.